One Piece has a very interesting line of characters. A grand line. <laughs> and uh, we're here to rank some of the strongest characters in One Piece. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, on with the video. Oh, uh, wait, spoilers up ahead. Now we'll start this off with Aokiji. You already know how strong he is with his ice abilities. Aokiji is one of the most powerful characters in the anime, up there with the strongest of the bunch. He possesses the power of the Ice Devil Fruit, we'll call it that for ease, and he's able to masterfully use his hockey. Aokiji's ice powers might not seem that strong on the surface, because, you know, it's just ice, but the way he utilizes his ice powers, the level of control and reach is just insane. He has mastered his ice abilities to unmatchable levels. He even held off against Whitebeard, defeated Diamond Jozu without much of a struggle, defeated Doflamingo, and even held off Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy all at once. All of these characters are really powerful on their own and not to be messed with, but this shows the level of strength Aokiji possesses. Not to mention his crazy reach with his ice powers, freezing really vast areas without even a sweat, and even changing the weather. Truly a good one on this list, but yes, we have better. We shouldn't underestimate a frail old man, because he could turn out to be a master swordsman with the power of all three hockey. Silver's Rayleigh is particularly powerful because he's a character that doesn't even have the power of the Devil Fruit. Yet, even without such power, his own combat skill and strength is incomparable to even some of the characters higher up on this list because imagine if he had a devil fruit. Wouldn't he be completely broken? Rayleigh is not someone to be messed with, as many of the strongest characters acknowledge his strength. His name even caused Blackbeard to run away from Amazon Lily. We included him on this list for a reason, because if you consider Prime Rayleigh, yeah, goes up pretty high on any list, doesn't he? We're going to talk about Sengoku for this one, and we would really like to emphasize how underrated he really is. Sengoku usually ranks lower than Akainu, and we do believe he deserves a higher spot, but it is tough to deny that current Sengoku might have trouble against Akainu if they were to fight. Sengoku has a Devil Fruit, which allows him to possess enhanced levels of strength and create powerful shockwaves rivaling the Tremor Fruit. He's managed to stop an enraged Garp, and even Goldie Roger acknowledges him as someone worth fighting. He really is overshadowed by these other characters who have displayed their strength more than he has, because Sengoku is more of a strategist than someone hands-on in a battle. But how can anyone sideline him? Do you know he faced off against Shiki alongside Carp? Shiki, who is Goldie Rogers' rival? A rival of that guy and Sengoku fought him, can you imagine? He's a fleet admiral for a reason, come on you guys! And if that doesn't convince you, he has the ability to use all three hockey, something that only a handful of characters can actually do. Sakazuki, or better known as Akainu, either a fearsome foe or a terrifying enforcer of justice. We could call him a rival to Aokiji, but his feats are much more than his. Starting off with how in their 10-day battle, he defeated Aokiji and severely injured him. The master of magma and the consumer of the magma devil fruit. Again, for the sake of ease, we'll call it that. Don't mind it too much, okay? Akainu is a really terrifying antagonist with monstrous strength and a sense of justice. His devil fruit is even said to be the highest in offensive power, which makes sense when you think about it since his powers can even change the terrain of an area. He can summon entire volcanoes. Akainu is ruthless, which makes him even more deadly as he's also fought against a weakened Whitebeard, causing him injury but also tanking all of the damage from him, which were truly devastating blows. But that's not all, as he also fought two of Whitebeard's strongest men, Marco and Vista, all on his own. Blackbeard is the only one with the power of two Devil Fruits, the first one being his own and the other one being taken from Whitebeard. Still, he's the only one in the entire realm of One Piece to be known to have two of them. That alone makes him one of the most powerful characters, but that's too simple, because it isn't just that he possesses two of them, it's also that he possesses the two most powerful ones. His original Devil Fruit gives him the power of darkness, which allows him to control gravity, make black holes, and reduce targets to nothingness. That's already way too dangerous to be held by someone like Blackbeard, but with him having stolen Whitebeard's Tremor Fruit, now he has the power of destruction as well, and some say it has the power to destroy the entire world. Plus, Blackbeard has mastered the ability to use both fruits at the same time. That's really a force to be reckoned with. In any anime, the main character is supposed to be the strongest. 
They are the main character after all, they're supposed to come out on top with every enemy they face, even the strongest ones, and that's why we have Luffy. Luffy is a particularly special anime protagonist because not many are as far reaching as he is, and he does have his struggles because of how Oda said himself, you can't make the protagonist too strong. And yeah, that might be true, but Luffy has faced off against the strongest on this list, and even managed to at least land a hit. The ones he defeated, though, we're all familiar with. <laughs> Kaido. <laughs> and uh, he keeps powering up to all these forms that are just so overpowered. <laughs> Gear 5. <laughs> he can even use all three hockey. In the beginning, we thought he was just a stretchy guy, but there is so much more, and probably more to come. But even before all these enemies that he had defeated, he was sort of overpowered already, as some of the greatest threats and challenges he faced off against had some trouble with Luffy. And then of course he eventually defeated them, although it took a few tries, earning him a bounty of more than a billion berries. We're trying to keep this as less spoilery as possible. Wait, there are hints that he could be Joy Boy? Oops, spoilers. Dracul Mihawk, the arch enemy of Shanks and the coolest character ever. Mihawk is currently one of the strongest swordsmen in the world of One Piece, and without any sort of devil fruit powers, making him truly formidable and actually a powerful character. We've seen him hold off his opponents with just a small knife, and even keep up with Luffy's speed at Gear 2. But that's not all. Now you think we're done here, but just the slashes from Mihawk's sword can split entire ships and icebergs in half. There's no telling what else Mihawk is capable of, because sadly, we haven't seen that many displays of his power throughout the series, and we've never really seen him get serious because he's never needed to. But this is definitely a guy of monstrous strength. She's a mother that we're all afraid of, and you know who we're talking about. That's right, Big Mom. A character of monstrous appearance comes with monstrous strength and power. Even without using her devil fruit, she is a very formidable opponent, as it is said that no weapon can pierce her skin, and we have seen destructive blows hit her without her having so much as a scratch. She can tank very lethal attacks, and deal very devastating blows without even being completely serious about it. It's literally a cakewalk for her to be fighting against the toughest opponents. And speaking of that, her greatest display of strength is her fight against Kaido, where they fight for two days and at the end of the battle, Big Mom doesn't even have a scratch on her. If she would use her devil fruit with all this strength that she already has, she's way too overpowered as she can manipulate souls and even take her opponent's life force. Under certain conditions, but of course we have to nerf a character this powerful, and for that we have her fragile mental state to weaken her, or her urge to eat, and that sounds really sad. Shiki, the arch enemy and rival of Goldie Roger. If this guy is the adversary of the Pirate King, you can only imagine how strong he really is. In fact, it took the efforts of both Garp and Sengoku in their prime to be able to defeat Shiki and capture him. But even then, Shiki survived the fight against them both and fought them head on, two against one. We haven't really seen much of Shiki to be able to understand how powerful he actually is, but from what we have seen and what we know, he's a really tough opponent and a really strong character. His devil fruit allows him to levitate and transform even whole islands into the shape he chooses. But the drawback is that he cannot levitate people or animals. Still, with the way that Shiki utilizes his devil fruit shows his cunning in battle as well. The guy lost his legs to escape from the world's most secure prison. And even without his legs, he wasn't someone you could mess with. His name is known as one of the legendary pirates for a reason, and despite his lack of accomplishments in battle, we think he deserves this spot on the list just because of the implications of his power alone. Known to be the strongest creature in the world, for this entry we have Kaido. He is a threatening presence to all those that know him. There are entire armies and really powerful characters that are afraid to face off against them one on one, fearful of his might. Even Big Mom said that Luffy couldn't win against Kaido on his own. Her acknowledgement of Kaido's strength speaks for itself. Even before Kaido had his devil fruit abilities, he was considered a really powerful warrior. And after the fruit gave him the powers of a dragon, he became even more unstoppable. Kaido has mastered his fruit to the point where he can even use some of his abilities in his human form, and he's one of the few characters to be able to use all three hockey. It took Luffy three tries to finally be able to defeat him, and in Kaido's lifetime, he has only lost eight battles. His entire lifetime! 
His dragon form is able to create whole tornadoes with just a swift move, and he can destroy entire mountains with his attacks. We need no introduction for this character, as we've seen him time and time again in the series as one of the most prevalent and overpowered characters. The proof of his strength comes from the fact that, first of all, he's missing an arm and is still able to scare off and fight against the most powerful opponents, and second, he doesn't even have devil fruit powers. Even without the fruit, his strength is recognized by the mightiest, such as Whitebeard and Garp, and he's able to strike fear in the hearts of those who hear his name, such as Blackbeard. And he was able to intercept Kaido during the Battle of Marineford. He can even get an audience with the Five Elders despite the bounty on his head because, well, he's Shanks, and one look from him can have opponents go unconscious or even just run away. Yes, he uses his hockey, but still, Shanks is currently one of the strongest pirates in the series, and we would love to see more of what he's able to do. With only one arm, that is, with just a single arm, that really is just crazy. Monkey D. Garp, one of the strongest admirals in the Marine. Oh, uh, a vice admiral, but don't let that fool you on how powerful he really is. Again, Garp is one of those characters that's been emphasized throughout the series as a really strong character, but we've been unable to see what he can really do. It isn't like he's completely lacking in his displays of power, but we'd just like to see more. Garp is one of those characters who does not own a devil fruit, but still, he's able to defeat someone as powerful as Rox D. Zebek, and is recognized by the most dangerous opponents as being a really powerful character. His signature and most powerful move is using his fists, giving him the infamous title Garp the Fist, being able to destroy entire mountains with a single strike. Edward Newgate. We all know how this one ends, but we must honor his memory. One of the strongest men in the world, and one of the ones actually closest to the One Piece, Whitebeard was a really fun and interesting character. Despite his power and strength, he was a compassionate guy. You couldn't help but love him. His devil fruit gave him the ability of tremors, or quakes, said to have enough power that it could bring destruction to the entire world. Everyone recognized Whitebeard as the strongest. He was a respected pirate and a kind one. He was able to fight on par with Goldie Roger, and during the Battle of Marineford, we actually witness how powerful he truly is, fighting off against the strongest but still standing tall, even in death. He suffered some of the most lethal blows but still stood and fought. The world government planned to send the most powerful forces to fight against Whitebeard, but even then, it was believed that their chances were slim. Throughout the series, there is evidence of how strong he was. But in Whitebeard's own words, I cannot be the strongest forever. It was foreshadowing, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sad now. The greatest pirate in all of One Piece, and the owner of the One Piece, we have the Pirate King, Gold D. Roger. Roger's strength only came from his mastery of all three hockey and his own power. For someone without the Devil Fruit, even after his death, he's known as one of the strongest and still recognized in strength by many, such as Kaido, Whitebeard, Garp, and many of the legends. He managed to accomplish the most difficult feat of all, conquering the Grand Line and had the highest bounty of more than 5 billion berries. He's also the one who was able to defeat Rox D. Zebek alongside Garp. Sadly, his reign ended earlier in the series due to his illness, and eventually his execution, which is why we do not know what else he would have been capable of. But he was someone who did not fear death, even in his final moments. We have heard tall tales of Rox D. Zebek, and many of them earn him this spot as number one. Rox was a ruthless man with the ambition of becoming the king of the world, and it was this ambition that led him to be destructive and cruel towards anything in his path that would stop him from reaching his goal. The world government considered Rox to be a significant threat, and as evidence, it took the efforts of both Goldie Roger and Garp to be able to defeat him. Two of the strongest characters in the series needed to team up to defeat this guy. And this is also what earned Garp his hero title. Even Kaido recognized Rox as an opponent worth fighting, giving us an idea of the kind of strength that Rox had. Not much is known about this character as of yet, but everything we know so far is proof of his terrifying might. Now you might be wondering, where are the top of the top of this list, such as Emu or Shimotsuki Ryuma and Monkey D. Dragon to name a few? And we'll just give them some honorable mentions for now, as there's not much information on them at the moment, so it's difficult to gauge the extent of what they can do and where they would actually place on this list. But anyway.
So, who in your opinion is the strongest in all of One Piece? Did we manage to include some of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching.